Welcome to AwesomeDrinks.com. I am the owner, Derek Schomer, and today I want to just take a look at the Boston Shakers. And we'll even do some cobbler shakers in here. So we'll just make this an overall cocktail shaker video that I can apply to all my different cocktail shakers. You can look through them all and make the decision for yourself, but I'm here to give you some guidance. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you a secret. Boston Shakers are awesome. Cobblers are cool, Boston Shakers are awesome. I don't want to persuade you to say that these are better, but they're awesome. Here it is. This is, we'll start with the, the cobbler shakers. This is a three, three piece shaker. Most cobblers are gonna be three piece. They also tend to be a little bit more money because I think it's just because there's three pieces and there's more material there. Um, this is, this is cool. It looks like Eva to us. That's what we, we thought. So I, I started carrying them because we had some of our fans of our cocktail show, Common Man Cocktails, say they wanted them. Not necessarily as many people bought them as I expected that said they wanted them, but they're here. They're an option. Uh, they are kind of neat. These really, really work well for cocktails with egg white. And here's why. When you're shaking an egg white, the typical thing you do first is what's called a dry shake. And when you do a dry shake, no ice, these are gonna work really well because they don't have a, a expanding contracting problem. The way that works is you take the top off and it has, this one has a rubber seal. Most will have rubber seals on the edges. Now, I would suggest washing this by hand as opposed to putting it in the dishwasher just because the rubber seal is gonna age and start to dry out and crack. And when the rubber seal goes away, you're gonna have a problem. And I've had, had people asking me just in casual conversation how to get a replacement seal. I don't even know where that comes from. So, but the beauty of the rubber seal of this one and the rubber top here is you have your three pieces, you still can make your cocktail, you have your strainer built into the second piece, right? However, big problem with cocktail shakers, when they get cold, aside from dry shaking, they start to really shrink and tense up and lock together. This one, you don't run into that issue. First off, this part is plastic. So while this will constrict and tighten around the base, that rubber allows it to slide off a lot easier because you don't have the same issue. You will maybe have an issue, you know, putting them on. I give them a little twist because the rubber will bulge out the side, but this gives you the ability to do your both dry shake and a full ice shake, pour it, and then take it apart and reuse it again. Awesome. Now, if you wanted to really step up your game, this kind of gets more into a thematic approach, but they of course have the, what some people call the hillbilly shaker. This is a mason jar shaker. We have an entire video on the mason jar shaker, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but it is a three-piece shaker, just like the others are three-piece shaker, but it's a lot more money because it's stamped steel, it's cool, it has that thematic value, and it was a, uh, a startup company that I like to support startup companies and by far one of our more popular shakers, regardless of the fact that it costs more, it, it has the huge uh, novelty appeal that people like. That's your basic cobbler shaker, three-piece shaker right here. Now, these are the ones you look, and they look very similar, right? This one might be a little fatter, but in the end, what happens is you throw ice in here, you throw the top on, you put this piece on, you do your shake, you're having fun, you pour your cocktail, ooh, everybody's excited. They're like, I want one of those. And you're like, all right, I'll make you one. And you take this and you realize it's it's solid. This gets super cold, it shrinks around the base and or, or the lid, and it, it, it's hard to pull apart. Now this one has a little bit of added benefit of having a rim on here so you can start pulling. Uh, you may also want to run it under some hot water to you know bring it back to normal temperature to be able to pull it off. But sometimes, it can kind of be a downer when you're making cocktails, which is why I like the Boston Shaker. This is our most popular Boston Shaker because it was the first one we sold. It's the least expensive shaker because it doesn't have the vinyl coating on the edges. It's just a standard polished Boston Shaker. All Boston Shakers that we sell come with the pint glass included. So you're gonna get both of these. You buy this in the mail, you're gonna see this and this inside of it. Now, that's kind of not, you're not really done at this point. What you need to do with this and where the hidden cost is, is you're gonna need to spend some cash on a strainer. We sell these strainers, these are the lowest cost strainers you will find. Uh, we do have the OXO strainers that are a little bit more, a couple bucks more. Uh, that quality is much better, but at the end of the day, you're straining ice. So where do you put your quality? I put it into this over this, but you could do both, depending on how much you wanna spend but you put this in here. So you shake it, 
If you do not buy the strainer, you will end up having to either find a strainer or come back and buy a strainer. Or use ice, use your hand, something. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put, and, and this is kind of important, people, they're intimidated by the Boston Shaker because they think it's really complicated to use. And it's not that complicated, it's science. Everything can be solved with science. So what you're gonna do is you're going to build your cocktail in the glass. You're gonna build it in the glass because the people you're making the cocktails for can see it. If you're making it for yourself, you get to see the glory. Whether you want to or not doesn't really matter. But the theory is, when you're serving in a bar, they wanna see what they're making. They wanna see the cocktail. They wanna see how much spirit you put in. They wanna see the ice. You don't want people going, all right, I think you diluted it. So you have the full experience putting the ice and the liquids in here. From here, you're gonna put this on top. You're gonna give it a tap. Not a crazy smash, not driving into the wall. Tap it. That's all you're really gonna to need to do, right? And then from here, you're going to turn it this way and you're gonna face this side towards your opponent, towards the person on the other side. And the reason for that is if by accident something separates, the direction of your shaking is gonna cause this glass to go this way and you're gonna get covered in spirits and, and awesomeness and liqueurs and, and sugars and juices. That's more appealing than chucking a glass at your friend and then spilling the cocktail on them. Now they're gonna end up with two black eyes, a broken nose, and they've got, they're, they're covered in margarita. So you wanna avoid that. And the way you avoid that is you shake this direction. So that's the complication right there. And as you do that first shake, and this starts to chill up, and it's gonna chill up in probably like five seconds. By 10 seconds, it's gonna be hard to hold. Once that chills up, this is gonna constrict causing the shaker to not want to separate. Now, like I said earlier with the dry shake, when you're doing egg whites, where you want to emulsify it first, so you're gonna give it like 20 seconds of a, of a nice dry shake. These are a little bit more challenging because they don't have the ice to constrict them. So as you're shaking your egg white, it may leak out the side and cause you some undue egg whiteage on you. You can either hold it tight as you do it, you can use one of these, you can uh, shake it I don't know, Put I, what I usually do is I put a bar napkin around it or anything like that and hold it as I'm shaking it and just hold it tight. But most people, they're afraid of egg white even though they're pasteurized and they think they're gonna get salmonella and they're not. That's a different, completely different subject. So when you put ice in here and you do that shake, it's gonna freeze really fast. 10 seconds is all you're gonna need. And by then it's going to be solid. You're, you're gonna be able to hold it in either direction and it's not gonna wanna separate. Some people, like my friends here on the show will bang the thing against the side of a table. That's the best way to break a pint glass. Don't do that, because you've ruined your drink, because you've got pint glass shards in it. Not cool. So what you want to do is you're going to see a frost line forming on the bottom. So take the glass at that angle, usually tilt it just a little bit so there's that little space right here, and you give it a couple taps like that, and it's going to separate for you. It's not hard, okay? Try it. If you're afraid you're going to be a laughing stock in, in front of your friends, Put water and ice in. Just practice. Give it, you know, two or three times. You, if you hit it really hard when you're putting this thing together, you're gonna need to hit it really hard this way. I have tendonitis in carpal tunnel. If I hit this way, it hurts like hell. So I do a nice small tap, and when I open it, I go like that, and it comes right apart. It's really cool. So that is the Boston Shaker. From here, all your decisions are really going to be, do you want a polished? I'm working on getting the unpolished aluminum, uh, what, brushed aluminum, uh, whatever, but I don't have those yet. The next alternative, and you'll see these changing. I have a blue one as well. Oh man, I forgot my blue one. Um, but there's a, a, a blue one, and I'll have another sort of colors as I go, but this is just an example of of some of the different shaker designs. The difference with the vinyl coating on the edges is it'll keep your hands warm as you shake. So if you're doing this, oh, plus it looks cool, right? Cause you have that color. You could pick the color, blue, black, or red, whatever looks you know, good for you. And when you shake it and you're doing this, your hands aren't getting so cold. So when you break it open, you're gonna go like this. You're gonna take that part off and you're gonna want the strainer. You're gonna throw that on top and you're gonna strain it. Your hands aren't freezing. That's the best benefit to the vinyl one, aside from the aesthetically pleasing colors to it. And then you can shake it in your, your you know, strain it in here, good to go. And you're gonna strain it from this side, not from the glass. Um, it will fill up with additional ice because you've added that dilution, that 10 second dilution is gonna add water to your cocktail, which is good. You want water in your cocktail. You wanna have a dilution because alcohol's aromas break out with water. So don't look at it as diluting your cocktail, look at it as making your cocktail better. That's what you're doing with these things. So you're gonna pour it in there and you are done. You can wash this, I suggest with the vinyl ones. 
Um, I don't know about the dishwasher friendliness of the vinyl ones. I usually always wash this side of the shaker by hand and I put this side in the dishwasher. It's as simple as that. The, this one, I just throw it in the dishwasher. It's just metal. When you take them out, they'll be hot. If you wash them by hand and you're using hot water, it's gonna hurt you. So just pay attention. And these vinyl ones, they are through and through uh, aluminum or whatever this metal is, steel, whatever, conduct, whatever this metal is. Uh, I should know that. I'm sorry, I'll figure it out. I'll have to go read it. I'll read it four times as a penalty for not knowing it for you guys. That's it. Hopefully you have all the wide knowledge you'll need to be able to pick a good Boston shaker, cobbler shaker, or one of these cool capsule shakers or mason shakers. If you have any questions, dshomer at awesomedrinks.com. I will be happy to answer your questions, especially if it's gonna get us a new customer, a new deal. I'm always looking for new customers, so drop us a line. All right, we're done. Cheers. Oh, and here's the blue one. The magic of editing, woohoo! Remember, shake that way. Okay, now we're done. Cheers.